I love that thing. Guys, tonight was insane. Well, actually, the entire freaking day was insane. Between Apple's keynotes of, you know, WWDC showing of iOS 7 and all that stuff, the new Mac Pro, which I can't wait to check out. And then we had Microsoft's Xbox One E3 keynotes. And then EA, I believe Ubisoft? I'm not totally sure. I, didn't, I don't really follow them too closely. But I just wrapped up Sony's E3 keynote. Guys, I was freaking blown away. Now, I gotta say, you guys know I love the Xbox One. I actually just pre-ordered it tonight. I have no regrets. I love the Xbox brand, and I personally cannot wait to get my hands on that console, the controller, the Kinect, all that good stuff. But tonight, Sony, you guys absolutely killed it. You slapped Microsoft around like a, like a piece of sausage. I don't know what that means. But seriously, Sony did a kick-ass job tonight. So I want to talk about this for a bit. Uh, and yes, I'm in a different corner because this is a very last minute video. I just want to talk about my feelings um, about Sony and their approach with the PS4. Alright, so let's start out with the obvious. The PlayStation 4 looks like the Xbox One. There's no way around that, guys. Let's not say it doesn't look like it because it really does. I mean, I gotta admit, I was laughing when I saw it because I always see people dissing the Xbox One. It looks like a VCR. Who cares? It looks like a set-top box. It's not a bad thing. But it does look just like the Xbox One. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Is it a bad thing? No, of course not. But more importantly, let's talk about the focus of the keynote, and that was games. Sony did a freaking phenomenal job at focusing on the games, and they made it very clear that, I forget their exact wording, but they said it's all about the gamers and a trusted consumer experience. Because of one main thing, and that is the fact that Sony was so proud to advertise this. And that's the fact that the PlayStation 4, as far as what we saw during the keynote, has zero DRM restrictions. Thank you, Sony. This is awesome news for many gamers out there. Now still, I don't go back on what I said before about the Xbox One. It's not a huge deal for me, personally. I'm always connected. I always buy my games new, for the most part anyway. So for me, again, it's not a huge deal. And I actually just pre-ordered the Xbox One tonight. I have no regrets. But I gotta say, Sony did an excellent job at just putting the info out there. No DRM. You don't have to be connected. You can play used games. You can resell your games with no limitations whatsoever. This alone is huge, and in my opinion, because of that, Sony, you just won E3. Seriously, congratulations. The little virtual handshake. You won E3. You kicked Microsoft's ass. I have no problem in admitting that because I'm very excited about the PlayStation 4. I'm just expressing my thoughts because people sometimes think I'm all about the Xbox One and nothing else. That couldn't be further from the truth. I own a Wii U. I love it. I don't play it as much as I should, but that's because there's really not many good games out right now, but that all obviously changed this holiday season. But I'm also equally excited about the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. It's going to be an all-around awesome holiday season. But it gets even better. The PlayStation 4 while we don't have an official release date, like I said, they said holiday season, is selling for just $399. What? Again, Sony kicked ass. $399 versus the Xbox One's price of $499. Seriously, Sony just did an all-around excellent presentation. Seriously, they won in every single aspect of all of Microsoft's complaints. So, what does this mean for Microsoft? Can Microsoft backpedal a bit and change their mind? I think yes. I was just watching the post uh, game show on IGN, whatever they call it, you know, the post E3 keynote uh, video recap. And they were saying, is it too late for Microsoft to backpedal? I don't think so. I mean, I think it's better to backpedal now rather than wait until like, you know, September or, or October and say, oh, by the way, I know you've already pre ordered, you know, pre ordered the PlayStation 4, can't talk. Uh, but we did change our used games policy. We did change our always connected policy, and we're kind of going back on our words. So maybe you don't want to get a PS4. Maybe you want to get an Xbox One instead? I don't know. Either way you look at it, both consoles look amazing. I'm very excited about the Xbox One, but I'm also very excited about the PlayStation 4. Also, I gotta be honest, I'm more excited about the PlayStation 4, like a lot more excited now than I was, I don't know, last night, last week, two months ago. I mean, it's that awesome. Sony did a great job at restoring my faith in Sony. Because like I said in a previous video, I used to be a huge 
PlayStation fan. I mean, I love my PlayStation 1. I love my PlayStation 2. But with the PlayStation 3, I kind of fell off track because the Xbox 360 stole my love. And looking at my PlayStation 3 collection, I think I really have only like four or five games. It's pretty pathetic. But if you look at my Xbox 360 collection, you can't see it. I have at least 20 or 25 games, which I don't think is that bad. So the moral of this video is we're lucky to have both consoles. I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of console wars. I already see people dissing the PS4. I see people dissing the Xbox One. There's no need for hate, guys. Just choose the, you know, just choose the console that better fits your needs and enjoy it. I mean, we're so lucky to have this choice in the first place. And like I said, I cannot wait for the Xbox One, but I can't equally wait, that doesn't make sense, you know what I mean, for the PlayStation 4 as well. Like, both consoles are going to be freaking amazing, and it's just going to be an awesome holiday season. So I guess that's the point of this video, is just to praise Sony. They did their homework, they came through for the gamers, and they just overall did an excellent job. So what do you guys think? Are you getting the PlayStation 4? Are you getting the Xbox One? Or are you like me, or are you just eventually going to get both? I mean, guys, let's be honest. I love gaming. I've been gaming since I was a freaking probably two-year-old or whatever, three-year-old, I don't know. Um, so I will eventually buy both. The Xbox One is my priority, because I'm definitely in more of a fan of the Xbox. But the PlayStation 4, I'm going to try to get soon after, especially given the fact that it's only $400. I say only $400, because that's not insane. That's cheaper than an iPad. And in theory, you'll probably get more use out of a PlayStation 4 than an iPad. I know I would. Anyway, guys, again, let me know what you think. I'm really interested in, in turning this into a friendly debate. Please don't post flame wars below saying the Xbox One sucks, it's blah, 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 the PlayStation 4 sucks, blah, blah, blah. Let's keep this civil. Let's have an interesting conversation. And if you're interested in carrying this conversation over to my social networks, you are always free to follow me over at twitter.com slash davidfranco, as well as facebook.com slash davidfranco. Those links are right below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your continued support, and I'll see you in my next video, as well as many Xbox PlayStation 4 videos to come. Peace.